Welcome back to True Host Academy. In today's video, we're going to dive into creating a simple PHP script that interacts with a MySQL database and how to set it all up in cPanel. If you're ready to bring your website to life with dynamic content, stick around because this is going to be a hands-on tutorial. Let's get started. Step one, creating a MySQL database. First up, we need a database to store our data. Let's head over to cPanel and set that up. Log into your cPanel account. Scroll down to the databases section and click on MySQL databases. Here we'll create a new database. Give it a name and click create database. Next, we'll need a user for this database. Scroll down to MySQL users, create a new user and set a strong password. After that, link the user to the database by granting all privileges. This ensures that the PHP script we're going to create can interact with the database. Step two, creating a table in Patmadmin. Now that we have a database, let's create a table to store our data. In cPanel, go back to the databases section and click on PHP My Admin. Select the database you just created from the list on the left. Click on the SQL tab and we'll write a simple SQL query to create a table. I'm going to share all the scripts used in this video in the description area. Click the link and copy the scripts. After pasting the script, hit go and your table is ready. Step 3, creating the HTML form. Next, we'll create an HTML form that will collect data from users. Open your favorite code editor and create a new HTML file. Let's call it index.etml. In this file, write a simple form that collects a username and email. The script is in the description area for those who don't have one. If you already have an HTML script, feel free to use it. Save the file as index.tml. This form will send the data to the insert BHP script that we'll create next. Step four, writing the PHP script. Now, let's create a PHP script that will handle the form submission and insert the data into the database. If you already have a PHP script, skip this part. In the same code editor, create a new PHP file and name it inserts dphp. In this file, write the PHP code to connect to the database and insert the form data. Save the file as insert BHP. This script processes the form submission and inserts the data into the database. Step five, uploading the files to cPanel now. Let's get these files uploaded to your server. In cPanel, go to the files section and click on file manager. Navigate to your public underscore HTML directory. Upload both the index.gtml and insert BHP files to the server. Once uploaded, your form and script are live. Step 6. Testing the form and script. Finally, let's test everything to make sure it works. Open your web browser and go to yourdomain.com slash index.html. Fill out the form with a username and email, then hit submit. If everything is set up correctly, you should see a success message from the PHP script, and the data will be saved in your database. And that's it. You've just created a simple PHP script with a MySQL database and set it up in cPanel. This is a fantastic way to start building dynamic, interactive websites. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching True Host Academy and I'll see you in the next one.